in this video, I am going to show you how you can use QR codes for online educational resources. This is the method your students will love to use because in this method, they will be scanning certain images which is shown on the right hand side of this picture and this image is called QR code. So they will scan this image and they will reach the location of the teaching resource which you have created for them. So they don't have to click any link. You can put these uh, QR codes on the wall of their classroom uh, if it's a physical classroom or you can send them a document which they can store on their desktop or tablet and then whatever resource they want to read uh, or engage with, they just uh, scan this code with their camera and they straight away reach there. These are some of the topics which I'm going to discuss in this video. And I will be showing you uh, one of my own resource which I have created by using these QR codes and then I will show you how you can create these codes and what type of resources you can attach with these QR codes. And we are starting right after a short break. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Tahir and if this is your first time, please hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell to get notified whenever I post a new video on this channel every Tuesday and Friday. QR codes are also called quick response code and this is basically a two dimensional bar codes. One example is shown on the right hand side, uh, this is square image and these QR codes can be linked to digital assets. For example, you can link one of your YouTube videos with this image. You can link a website with this image. You can also link one of your Google document with this image. And then what happens is that you create this image and I'm going to show you how. Then you put these images of all of your educational resources in a document. Uh, it could be a PDF document, a Word document document or you can post in your classroom uh, if it's a physical classroom but nowadays most of us are teaching online so probably you will be putting these images in a word document or in a pdf but you can put this on the walls and when students enter into your classroom uh, you can ask them oh, okay scan the image number for example five and they will scan this using their mobile phones previously you were used to use any application to scan these qr codes but now modern mobile phones uh, they can scan these with their own cameras and I will show you in a minute how you do that and they will scan this image and they will straight away be able to read or engage with your educational material for example it could be an assignment it could be an activity so let me show you one example which I have created. So this is one of my resources uh, a beginner's guide to online teaching it is a pdf document and by the way, if you need this document, uh, just uh, join the email list uh, in the description of this video. There is a link for joining my email list. You can join and you can just type that uh, I need this beginner's guide or something like that. And I will uh, send this to your email address. Don't put your email address. Uh, this is not a proper way to uh, allow me permission to send you an email. You have to join my email list in order for me to send you an email. You can get this resource and have a look. So what I have done here is, so first I have written a little description. What is this resource all about? And then I have uh, told my students how to use them. And basically it's simply scan these codes. And then these are my videos. As you can see, this is the title of the video. If you are a mathematics teacher, it could be uh, your video about any topic, algebra video one, and this thumbnail is not required. I just put here because it's a YouTube video. Then you put your QR code. And similarly, you can put all your course in this manner. So if you have developed an online course, uh, there are 10 videos, you can put all these videos here and their QR codes here. And then you can send this to your students. And whatever video they want to have a look, they will scan the code, they will reach straight to that video. So let me show you how they will be using this. So I turned on my iPhone and this is my camera. I click on my camera and then I point my camera to any of these QR codes. And as you can see that now my camera has detected this QR code and I have got this message that open this YouTube in Safari, which is the browser. And I click on that. And now my video is uh, opened. So this is the way students will be using your resource. 
so all my videos are uh, publicly available but if you don't want your videos to be public you can put your videos on uh, your google drive and then you can share your links with your students if you are working uh, individually uh, you are not a school teacher then you can sell your courses you once you got the payment you can then share your resource with your students and uh, this is the pdf document which i created in latex and if you don't use latex or you cannot create a pdf you can simply create a word document here is an example of word document and i am going to show you how to create a code and how to put in this word document this is what i am going to demonstrate because most of you have access to a word document so let us see how to create these codes now there are many websites where you can create these qr codes uh, but i will be using this qr code monkey uh, i have done a little bit of research and i found most of the people recommending this website but you can search on your own and you can find any other website and now i will be creating one qr code for my youtube video and one QR code for one of my Google document. Let's start with this YouTube video. So what you do is you click uh, on this uh, link of the video. You can get this link from YouTube. So you copy this link, then you open QR code monkey. Here you will see these four uh, different icons. So click on enter contents and you put your link here. You can put any website link as well. Then you set colors. If you want QR code in black color, you can put all zeros. The color I like is 40 and then 2F. So this is a nice blue color. And then you click on create code and a code will be created. You can adjust the resolution as well, but I am happy with that. And I now download this PNG file. And now this is the file I get. So I can save this file in my folder. So let us give it a name youtube video or something like that and save this file here now i can close this and now i can insert picture and then i click on my picture and now you can resize this simply by dragging these corners and i want to put in this youtube column i put it here so youtube video is a very common way of sharing video resources with your students now let us see an example of Google document. Now I click on this Google Drive and let's say this is an activity which I want to share with my students. So I click on this document and now I click on this uh, share button and it will show me this link. Now here you can select what type of permission you want to give to your students because Currently, it is set to anyone with the link can edit. If you want only to give them a view access, you can click this option. But I want to give them edit access because I want them to put their answer in the text box. So therefore, I am happy with that. And I copy this link. I can also put email addresses here, but I want to show you the QR code method. So I close this. Now here again, I click on enter contents. And this time I put my Google document link here and I am happy with the color. So I simply click create QR code and it has created a new code for me. Now I can download this again and now I can save this to my file and I can put in my Word document. Now there are some other resources. For example, you can also share a quiz which you have created in Google Forms. And I have a complete tutorial about Google Forms on my channel. Uh, which you can watch then if you find any website useful for your students you can create a qr code for the website and put it here when this document is ready now you can print this document you can post it on the notice board of your classroom or you can send this document to your students and they can have this on their tablets and they can quickly scan any resource and they can use it. Now, for example, Google Slides is a um, very good way of sharing resources. So in that case, you must ask your students to install Google Slides application on their phone because only then they will be able to uh, use the document. So this is the way you can create uh, wonderful educational resources online for your courses and you can share with your students because one thing you cannot separate from your students is their mobile phones and they love to use their mobile phones and this is a fantastic way to get a higher student engagement and one advice for video contents is that for online education 
uh, your video lectures should be maximum 5 to 10 minutes. 5 minutes is perfect, but if you want a little bit lengthier, no more than 10 minutes. Otherwise, you will lose their interest, you will lose their attention, and you will not be able to achieve the course outcomes. So I hope that uh, now you will be using this uh, method of sharing your educational resources with your students. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and see you next time.